Beginners. My name is Charles, and today we're going to be talking about emergency backpacks. Now this could be an emergency backpack that you could put in your car, especially if you travel a lot. It could be an emergency pack that you would have in your home. It's ready to go in a grab-and-go situation. This will be part of my grab-and-go series that I'm going to be doing, uh, so I figured I would start off with the backpack. Just to give you an idea, <clears throat> on that note, I do have a backpack that we're going to load this gear into. I'm going to show you how I kind of do that. We're going to go through a few quick things here real quick. It's a 60, uh, 60 liter pack. Uh, it does have a bunch of several different compartments. It has some side pouches. It's a molly pack. So if you did want to eventually uh, get something uh, additional outside, little clip-ons and stuff, uh, you do have all the mollies that you can clip this to. Quick type items that you want to get to in a, a fast manner. It has you know, uh, belts that go around your waist, nice padded shoulder straps. So with that we're going to begin. We're going to start right with the, the center main pack. And in that pack the first thing that you want to put in there, in my opinion, is a change of clothes. Uh, shirt, pants, underwear, socks, extra t-shirt maybe, something that you probably could do, which would be really good if you want to save space if you don't have such a big backpack. You could take and put these into a Ziploc bag to ensure that you know they stay dry. Uh, my backpack is waterproof, but you could also take these and roll these up. And if you have a food saver, or if you bought the space bags like they sell at Walmart, the vacuum cleaner on to suck the air out, or if you use the space saver bags and suck them down for one, it's going to take up less room because it's going to compact it. For two, it's going to keep them nice and dry. So we're going to put those right in the bottom. Next is food. You can pick these up. Sporting goods stores, Walmart, Target, Amazon, all those. Walmart, I find uh, they're about $8.98 a piece. So I, did, I do have a, a breakfast and a dinner. And in each one of these is uh, two servings. So basically you could feed, for the calories and nutrition, you could feed two people out of each one of these. So if you're just one person, if you have to ration it, four meals here. Two bottles of water with you, you know, to get you going. <clears throat> if you wanted a water filtration system, like a wise water filtration system, clean water and stuff worth, uh, that would be great. If nothing else, a stainless steel bottle, single wall stainless steel bottle. Way if you did have a fire going, you could get water, you could boil it in this fire or something and boil water. That way there you can sanitize it. This is a survival shack. You can pick these up. I got this one at Amazon. I've seen something similar in Walmart. They don't have exactly the same one, but it's just a Mylar. It's a two person emergency uh, thermal shelter. So, you know, if something happened and you broke down somewhere out in the stick, no matter you know what the situation is, if you needed a shelter to try to stay warm, you know, and these things are relatively cheap, uh, just something good to have at hand. Uh, if worse comes to worse, you could wrap yourself up in it and try to you know stay warm if it's cold out. I would also carry a mask, uh, just because you're not not knowing what the situation may be, especially for like people that are living out in say like California and same stuff like that. If you're packing a pack with for fires, you know having a mask on hand would probably be really handy. Trying to either when you're trying to exit your house or if you were traveling and something happens and you gotta leave your car and walk, at least you got something that's gonna protect your mouth and your face and your, so you're breathing. A nice pair of gloves right into this pack right here. That pretty much does the main compartment. In the compartment that's right here in the front, first and foremost, a first aid kit, toiletries. <clears throat> now, I've got you know, I got some ibuprofen, some deodorant, some shampoo. You can put those right down in there. Some shaving cream, Q-tips, a toothbrush. Q-tips are great because you can also use these for a fire starter if uh, worst comes to worst because it is cotton on the end of them. Just remember that about Q-tips. And all these little containers and stuff, I get them at Walmart. All these small, they're just the travel size. You know, you go back to in the Walmart section there, of like the health and beauty and you pick all this stuff and most of us less than a dollar container with a bar of soap white a good decent quality knife you know get something that's good that's comfortable that you're comfortable with uh you can you can pick up you know a, a decent beginner's knife right at walmart you know 25 and 50 bucks you know it's just whatever you want don't buy some little 
little dinky knife or something like that. You know, you just want one good quality knife into your pack. This is made by Four Monster. These are pretty cool. This is actually a full towel. Believe that or not. Try it out because I was curious, you know. Quarry minds wanted to know. So, but it worked and believe it or not if you fold it right back up back into the container it came in which was quite amazing standard light that runs off batteries now these just run off AAA batteries and this would just be great it's like a lantern and as you can see you pull it open it's LED lights and the thing is bright at nighttime your paracord uh, you can buy a pack of this I got this on Amazon and Bankline uh, both of them are really strong. This is good if you have to lash stuff together to make something for building shelters and so on and so forth. There's a million things you can do with this kind of stuff. So you always just want to have just a little bit of that in there. Having a battery backup, okay? We all know what these things look. This is a solar. This back part actually lights up too for a light. You can get these adapters now that you can plug into your cigarette lighter in your car if you're broken down in your vehicle. What's really cool is you can plug something in there for that you know needs a plug like this little device right here. You can plug that in there, but if you look really close, you can see where you have two spots for your USB that you can plug right into, and this plugs right into your cigarette lighter. Even if you run your battery dead, but if you can get these things charged before you have to leave the vehicle to get out there, that's a really cool thing. This is a little converter that plugs into your cigarette lighter. You don't forget to have a wire charger. You at least have the ability to charge your phone at least once in an emergency situation. It could be the difference between life and death. Now, important thing to remember when if you're going to be traveling. Now, if something happens and you're traveling along, and something you know goes haywire and uh, you don't have self-service you don't have uh, any way to make a contact the outside world and you have no idea in a sense kind of where you are you may know what road you are you may know okay we just left that town back there always carry a road map for your state period I, I encourage people to make sure that you go out and you get a road map. You know at least how to use it besides your phone and everything else. But at least these little fold up road maps, you can buy them at Walmart. They, they sell them, you know, you go in there and everybody, no matter which state you're in, you know, you can pick up one for just your state. You know, you spend three, four bucks on it and you have it. Throw it in your glove box. Um, we're going to put this one right beside of our emergency pack. So no matter what happens, I always have a road map in case that my phone or something goes dead and I'm not really sure where I'm at and so I know how to get out of the situation I'm in. Another great thing to have, Right in the Rain makes these. Uh, you can write on this paper. It's an amazing thing. And if it gets wet, it doesn't run, it doesn't get ruined. The only thing, way you can destroy this is if you burn it. I would also suggest maybe people have a compass in your backpack. And if things got that bad, I guess in a sense you could write down your last will and testament. But if you're ready and you're prepared, that ain't gonna happen. Good, sturdy, waterproof flashlight. Do you want a good flashlight? You know, you could, uh, I would also maybe put in here because I'm getting really hooked on the headlamps. I love them. Can't say enough about headlamps. They're just awesome. Multi-tool. You know, sometimes when you're looking in the camping section and depending on what you're looking for, walk over to the hardware section because you know, it's found we got one pocket left to go. And this pocket is going to be, I always have one of these. <laughs> I leave them in every one. Uh, the little candles. You never know. This is going to be our fire starting. Approximately an eighth of a cup of this stuff and put it into a pile and then you can light it with your, your Bic lighter, your waterproof matches, your regular matches and uh, you get a fire going and then you start putting your small little twigs and kindling on there and then build from there as the fire goes along. Don't start the other way and go big to small because it ain't going to work. Now I also carry along with me my cotton balls that I, I've talked about in a couple of my videos. Uh, I take cotton balls and I put Vaseline on them and uh, coat them really well and then I shove them into these old medicine bottles. 30 cotton balls in that little jar. That's 35. Ferrisian uh, lens, uh, it's just a plastic lens. 
it magnifies and you use the magnification. The last two things we have here, fatwood, fire, you get your sparks. It works really well, it's very easy to do, but I would suggest that everybody practice with this before you get out there in the field so you're comfortable doing this and getting the fire going. But you, everybody should have one of these in your emergency backpacks in case the water gets to your lighter, your matches, and anything else. That is our emergency backpack. Now, like I said, you can take this pack, put it in your car, keep it inside, ready to go. You know, it's really good to have on hand. I thank everybody for everything you do for my channel. I want to thank you for viewing all my videos, for liking them, for sharing, for subscribing to my channel. Thank all my subscribers. Thank you very much. Survival preparedness for beginners. And until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side. Oh,